fishing debris from the water and searching for wreckage from the sky. Eventually, the first body is pulled from the Black Sea, but there are still dozens to be found. The Russian military jet was heading from Moscow to Syria when it stopped to refuel near Sochi. It had just taken off again when it vanished off the radar. Russia's defence ministry then confirming the worst. A crash site has been found off the coast, a spokesman said. Unfortunately, there were no survivors to be seen. The plane was taking 92 people to a Russian airbase southwest of Aleppo. Among them were 64 members of the army's official choir who were planning to perform for troops at a New Year's party. Also on board were nine journalists and a famous Russian human rights activist. Dr Lisa Glinka was carrying medicine and other supplies to a Syrian hospital. Earlier this month, she received an award for her humanitarian work from Russian President Vladimir Putin. Today, he declared a national day of mourning. Vowing to launch a thorough investigation into what caused the plane to crash. Makeshift memorials are appearing in Moscow, including outside the concert hall where the military band was based. And near the crash site, candles now light the way along the water's edge as divers search in the darkness below for more victims. Fiona Willen, Nine News. A national day of mourning has been declared.